Now, I don't technically expect you to design most of these pieces from scratch. The reason I've made all these prefabbed sort of starting points is you can take these and quickly make your own ones. And the way you can do that is if you take, say, I want to make a 15 dot rectangle, I can take the six by one rectangle, right click on him, duplicate, and when I'm going to rename, and instead he's going to be 15 by one, which will be eight inches long. So I'm going to go into my first sketch. I'm going to change that first thing from 3 by 5 to 8. Hit the check marks. I'm then going to go to the extrusion. I'm going to sketch 2. And I'm going to change this 6x to 15. I should now be able to check. And with any luck, it didn't pick it up, unfortunately. So we're going to double click on extrude 2 and select the rest of the circles. If I want to say select the whole thing, Click it again, it'll toggle it. So there is our 15 by one, and it's saved for everyone to use. If I say I want to make a three, uh, six by three plate, I can take my six by one, I can duplicate this. And I'm going to rename him six times three rectangle. Oh, I did forget to change the name in here. So I want to make sure I go down to his parts and rename and make sure this name always matches that. It's easy to forget as you just saw. Oh, good grief. It looks like I re-changed the wrong one. So here, I'm going to undo these two changes. And I'm going to go to my 15 by 1 and make sure it matches. So I'm going to go here. 8 inches. Check. Sketch 2. 15, check, and extrude, and select all my circles. Doesn't matter if I say click on it. It's actually easier to see what I'm doing. I'll reselect the background, make sure that's dark, hit check, and there we go. So going to 6 by 3 plate, I'm going to change this down to 3.5, and we're going to make this two inches. I'm gonna hit the checkbox. And we have to do some modifications to the sketch. We're going to take and remove the horizontal constraint. So I'll delete this. And now I'm gonna dimension from this corner to this edge, 3.5. The D key is dimension. And I'm gonna to go to the rectangular pattern, and I'm going to look for I'm going to uh, just to do I'm going to delete that and see. Uh, control Z. All right, let's do a rectangular pattern. A rectangular pattern. I'm going to select all of these guys and I'm going to change this to zero oh, sorry one i'm gonna change this to three and i'm 
then I'm going to change this height to 0.5. I can checkbox, and now I'm going to go to my extrude, and we have to select all those holes. Oh, I got wrong. We're going to go undo. We're going to go to our sketch one. We forgot to change this back to uh, 3.5. Oh. I'm going to get rid of these extra dots. And now I can go extra two and select all my holes. If I miss, it's fine. Just make sure you reset the background when you're done. I'll probably reconstruct this piece a little differently just so that it's easier to edit. But now we have a very easy 6x3 plate. I can do the same thing with my T's. And the T's don't have to be symmetrical. So I'm going to duplicate this object. And I'll rename this. Five by seven. Get rid of the copy one. Also, I should double check my things. Yep, that looks good. Rename. Six by three rectangle. And that's good. All right, so we're going to go to our five by seven T. We can go to our sketch one. So if he's five, we're going to take and get rid of the equals. Right click. Delete. And if that's going to be five, it's going to be uh, three inches wide. And this is going to be uh, dimension. And this has to be seven, so that's going to be three, be four inches long. Now we have to go to our sketch two. We know this direction is going to be seven. And the other direction, this three, is going to be five. I'm going to double check that looks good. It does. Like checkbox, and then we have to go to our extrude and reselect the right spot. So I'm going to remove that one, remove that one. But add in that guy, that guy, that guy, that guy, that one, that one, that one. So now we have a bigger T. So we have all these different parts that can be used to build more complex shapes. And you can do it to any shape is make a duplicate and copy it. If you need a different shape, size of shape, but we should always use the same standard size as one inch wide by with half inch holes.